So I want to kind of set the stage here. I want to make a statement and then I want you to tell me how far off I am. And then we'll get into the discussion of what real detoxification is all about. I think that most people, when they think of a detox, if they see something that says it's a detox tea, for instance, they think that by drinking this tea, it will magically somehow, like a dog whistle, call all the toxins stored throughout your tissues and mostly in fat cells. Let's be frank about this. In fat cells are the vault. Uh, the virus vault, if you will, of our of our body for detox, for, for heavy metals and and xenoestrogens and every everything else that we really don't want. And somehow, if I drink this tea, this detox tea, or I put my feet in this bath of water, this detox foot bath. That, I hope you've seen that one. That's hilarious. Mm -hmm. um, that somehow all of these toxins will be liberated from their vaults and then travel down into the bladder to be urinated out or into the, the digestive tract to be pooped out or in the case of the foot bath, will somehow miraculously exude from the bottoms of your feet, turning the water black. And I think that nothing could be further from the truth and is a complete insult into the complexity of the human body. Am I way off on this? Uh, I don't think you're way off. I, I do think there is some benefit to what they're talking about, at least in my observations and my experience. You know, it depends on what you're trying to detox from. If you're if you're just trying to remove the things that were in your colon yesterday or today, Bam. then yes. probably the detox tea will be helpful because it's going to remove those things. Of course, always consult with your private physician because when you're doing things Things like that because you can really imbalance your electrolytes. You can also destroy your microbiome by doing a detox tea without someone who knows what they're doing supervising what you're talking about. So um, yes, if you're talking about an, a um, dysbiosis, you'll be getting rid of some of your intestinal bugs. But I have several patients who have in their um, gone through a colonoscopy, for example, and in the detox that goes before the colonoscopy, they actually become much sicker after the colonoscopy because of the damage that's done not only to the to the electrolyte balance in their system, but also to the healthy bacteria that do happily live in that area that have balanced everything out. And now you have nothing to be able to um, provide the preferred fuel source, which is butyrate to your colon cells, your water balance gets off, your body becomes dehydrated. Um, um, those, All of those are critical factors in being able to, for your cells to function. So yes, I think there's a little bit of benefit if you're trying to get rid of what's in your colon for a detox tea, but I'm not sure that the way to get rid of it. There also is some benefit in a magnesium Epsom salt, for example, bath. We know that a whole body Epsom salt bath on a very minor schedule uh, or on, on a pr pretty aggressive schedule, but a very minor way can help to pull out mercury. There is some evidence that an Epsom salt bath, but it will take you probably a year if your load is heavy. It'll take you a year of almost nightly 20 minute Epsom salt baths for you to see uh, the needle move on that level of mercury, mercury in your blood. It mm -hmm. is effective. I have had patients in my practice who've gotten rid of theirs on a very, very, very slowly with an Epsom salt uh, bath, but it does take some fairly diligent activity on the patient's part. Um, and it does require supervision by a physician to be sure you are not ruining your um, balance of electrolytes, your um, cellular health in general.